I got this new 40 ounce hammer today. I like it. It's from Snap-on. I also picked up this uh, strap wrench. Uh, it has both a uh, half inch and three eighths drive, depending on how you flip it. So I'll come in real handy for some oil filters and things that are hard to get to. So here at the cracker barrel. Lost a hydraulic. Can you hear that noise? Is that, is that my, uh, is that my, uh... So Michael was on his way back to us for some scheduled maintenance. We had to order a few parts from last time. Slack adjusters. We're going to rebuild the water pump, put new thermostats, stuff like that. And he lost a hydraulic line. Uh, he's about 20 miles away. There we have our leak. Unfortunately, the upper end of that hose is very hard to get to without removing all the coolant pipes on it. So we're gonna see if this is if this is a reasonable fitting. We're gonna try and take it apart, cut the hose, put it back together enough to get them on the road. We're gonna be taking the cooling system apart on this anyways in the future. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. Size you want. We cut that hose three times to put that reusable fitting on there. And every time when we get ready to tighten it, it would snap off. It was just so brittle. Luckily the third time was the last possible chance. We had it long enough to be able to do that. And we were able to do it. Ready? Ready. Yes, it has a very squeaky alternator belt, which we are going to get to and fix. All right, but it's not leaking, so it looks like we can get them back on the road and send them back to our place. stuck as the bus was passing we tried to give him a little extra room it's a very soft shoulder on our road so we got the tractor from the neighbors and we're going to see if we can pull him out of here this is kind of sketchy go slow I was just coming down the hill and this thing came detached. This did? Oh yeah, it's not attached anymore. It, it, luckily it stayed up against the thing and I was able to stop. <laughs> it's not attached. Check this out. Pull it out. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be when I first saw it coming out, but that's a lot of shit in there. Air filter was done doing its job. <laughs> it's pretty plugged up too. Is that a, is that a typical filter? So this filter minder was on green. So you know, think oh, I don't need to check it, but clearly you saw all those leaves and how dirty the filter is. That's not either accurate representation or the thing moves enough air through there where 
it would have still been not restricted enough to move that filter minder but this thing turns yellow and then red or, or red when it's plugged up but green means it's good okay so we had a special order two new slack adjusters for the drive axle that's what we're replacing now yeah michael's got his awesome shirt on i have yeah. more like it bus grease monkey love <laughs> This will be a, hey Michael, <laughs> I'm trying to replace the thermostats and the thermostat housing bolts uh, have, are pretty well seized. And that one broke. Let's see how it goes from here. Okay, got a couple wires to disconnect on the sensor here, but we got this ready to come off, but we had to remove the DDEC computer to be able, because this has to come way up to slide over the bolts that we can't get out. It might not come off without this removing this exhaust, so we'll see if we got clearance for that. And, uh, getting ready to get the thermostats in there. This one we've got out. He's just scraping off the gasket on here. Soak that snap ring in some coil. Okay, so he did it with the map gas and I'm still tapping with the hammer and it's still seized in there where that bolt is broken off on the top. It is moving in the back, just not in the front. Well, this is messed up on the end, it's bent. Um, what we use to press it in is this socket which is an extra long deep. There's no way that was touching it. There's no mar marks on it there though. We've got a, a ton of room there. So that's not from us. So I don't know if maybe this thing was sent back in. Somebody, somebody bent it before and then returned it and we got it, but that's not gonna work. Yeah, there's even some kind of used wear marks on here. couple of uh, spots. I, I think somebody messed this up and sent it back in and now we got it. Not the rest of the axle set on the torch. Okay, so this is kind of big housing. With this piece. And then show them the bottom. And then the bottom piece got a hole knocked into it, which we have the piece. We have some of the piece. Oh, well, that's not what I pulled out of there. There's still more of it missing? Yeah. So there might be a bit of a, a we'll, bridge. we'll have to find yeah. the, we'll find the other piece. It's gotta be here. Can't cut it off far. Okay, let me see that. Tyler wants to clean all the oil off of the broken part so he can send it to the welder. So he get do some brake clean and clean it up and, and burn it off.
Does Corey have the capability to go somewhere and do? Not with his like TIG welder and stuff like that. It takes too much electricity. He doesn't have a generator on his truck or something? He has a shop. He doesn't have a truck. Oh, okay. Shoot. Smoking from there. He smelled bad and Kelly saw smoke. So we took this to the welder last night and uh, Corey from Iconic Metalworks, who we've worked with in the past. Uh, he's on the east side of Nashville, a few towns away, a uh, new shop. But he brazed it all up, back together, that's the inside there. And then just to make sure there was no issues, they covered it in JB Weld all over on the outside too. But it is actually brazed together. So the JB Weld is just to make sure there was no little cracks in the exterior of it, but I'm real happy with it. I think it turned out good. I just assumed it was JB Weld, but it's actually Panel Bond, which is even better that he coated it in. to specially modify an inch and a half wrench to be able to get that fitting on that hydraulic line to replace it we ended up getting it from the bottom side and it was very hard to do started up here new water pump on it new thermostats in it Okay, we tightened that alternator belt that was squeaked in. That was very annoying. 